Okay, so today I'm trying to try out Deeping OS. It's a bit different because the ISO right now doesn't really work for me. Like as an example, I couldn't connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm using this built-in screen recorder. So I hope everything goes well. So let's start. I think that one thing that everybody loves about Deepin is the design. But I have some criticisms, just looking at the panel at the bottom. First of all, I'm personally not a big fan of putting system tray icons inside of these small rounded squares. I do not think that it's a good design decision. The icons can look pretty good even without them and it's not particularly consistent with the icons either because they are smaller and of different size. Just look at this icon and this one. This one is just bigger. Also, if I open up an application, like a random one, if I want to show the desktop, there's no animation between them. And as far as gestures go, uh, there's a four fingers gesture, so that's something, but it's not mapped one-to-one -one, like in Plasma. Also, I gotta say that the built-in screen recorder has a broken right side because the margin is missing. And I also think that this old school trash icon is very out of place. So I'm not a big fan of the panel as is, but one thing that I think is good is that it's floating. However, when you do a floating panel, something to consider is that you need to preserve fit slow, meaning that if you click here, this applet should be activated, like the mouse input from this uh, part of the panel should be redirected inside of the panel, which is something that I'm trying to do with floating panels in uh, Plasma. In ER, it's, it just doesn't happen. Mouse input is not redirected, meaning that if you just push your mouth, mouse all over bottom left, you're not going to click anything. If we give a look to the pop-up, it looks good. I'm a big fan of a bit of rounding. Maybe this is slightly too much, but a bit of rounding and blur. I like the blur. I think that it's a good menu. It's simple yet pretty clear. And while manager goes, I'm always tempted to say dolphin out of habit. I've got my directories, which makes sense. I think that it's very nice to have a welcome screen rather than just showing the desktop files. And I also have disks with all of my drives, makes sense. And if I look around, I have these big icons, which I guess I can resize, yeah. Is this, okay, this is as small as they get. Maybe a bit smaller could have been uh, better. There's also a broken margin here. <laughs> I'm sorry, dipping, but uh, sometimes I'm I'm a very uh... okay. I also this is something I noticed earlier. I'm not a big fan of this icon because what is it supposed to represent? Because it opens up a menu. Okay, we have icons for menus, but. This menu right here, the first line is smaller and the spacing between the second and the third lines is bigger than the spacing between the first and the second one. So it's a bit weird looking. Then we have an icon for the sidebar, makes sense. It's a pretty clean sidebar if you ignore the fact that this center view has this uh, gradient that doesn't fit at all with dipping style and we also have this uh, I think it's a browser am I right yes this is a browser which is opening up with a bit of time it's cool that there is this op uh, this um, I'm sorry that there is this animation when you open up an I a new application it uh, kind of wobbles left and right I like it but the active application highlight, this blue little thing is almost invisible and it looks kind of bad. Like, I don't know how to, ah, okay. This actually works because it's Kwin. And uh, 
I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this bluish thing. I don't know if it's recording the screen zoom as well. And as far as picture goes, the design of this application is pretty good. I like it. Let's try to open up this uh, this photo. How do I actually open the photo? I won't uh, know. Okay. But one thing that I appreciated is that there's a lot of care about the design starting from the boot. So you have this picture in the, I don't know, in the group, uh, uh, what, what, uh, what's his name? The group uh, thing. And then you have also this wallpaper, which is, in my opinion, really good. I like it a lot. And it's also impressive that when you switch workspaces, you also switch wallpapers, which is something that actually there's been some requests for that in Plasma, but it's in theory covered by activities. And uh, let's use for a bit this wallpaper so we can see the blur on this one. And the blur is fine, I like it, but it's all about this other design, design, design decision around it that I'm not a big fan of. As far as the screen capture goes, it's pretty good. I hope that it works, otherwise I will get very angry. This is the music app, but I don't have any music right now. It's very nice to see that applications are consistent with, uh, within each other as far like, as far as title bar goes and des um, design elements. I think they do very well on that side, the buttons and it's pretty. I think that there's lots of care about the design of everything. It's just that sometimes some parts are busy, like you can see that they hadn't the time to re refine everything. So let's create a new event for life, why not? Which is going to be this video. And let's pick a date. Okay, I like the month picker. It's a good month picker. And as far as the time picker goes, uh, well, it could be better. I mean, I have to type to actually select anything that's not 00, zero or 30. Reminders, pretty good. Repeat, okay, I like it. And now, oh, I actually very much like the design of the uh, event. You have this gradient, I like it. You have uh, the ability to switch between what is the week, day, month, and year. I can see all of the events with little dots. And we also get an over effect, which is pretty. And what's in the theme. Okay, I can select a dark theme, but for that let's actually pop up system settings, which I haven't um, seen yet. So let's, again, as you can see, I just tried to open up system settings, but Fitzlow failed me. Uh, the active applet uh, highlight is not aligned with the icon. Uh, at least, apparently, it's not aligned. So personalization, that's what interests me most. I can select a, a accent color and very good design on making each accent color have this small shadow, the same color of the accent. I really like it. Let's pick purple, no actually yellow. Let's go with yellow this time. Turns out that window effect is in fact compositing, so I click on it, clicked on it, and it turned off video recording. So let's start again. We have a transparency slider, very good. We don't have that one in Plasma. I can go from zero to one, which is maybe a bit too much choice, but like this amount of transparency, good. I still think that uh, Plasma does from 5.20 to this beautiful thing thing of uh, actually uh, giving more contrast 
to the wallpaper underneath the blur so even if you have like 0. Point, I think it was 8 transparency which should be like almost white by making more contrast underneath the blur you can actually see that it's transparent so I think that's something that I can be proud of as a KDE year or plasma air. As far as uh, rounding that we get to actually pick how much rounding we want, I'll go with medium because small is non-existent and large is maybe a bit too much. I think that there is a point where uh, round, roundiness is too much roundiness. We've got pap papyrus, papyrus icons by default, very nice. And Bloom is uh, the dipping theme, so I'll keep it. And we can already see one big issue of having centered icons, which is that it's very easy for the system tray to start touching the task manager icons, meaning that, I don't know, they will have to move to the left if I get more... Yes, as you can see, they have to move to the left in this jumpiness way. As far as cursor theme goes, I like Bloom. I think it's a good cursor. Fonts, I just leave it as it is. As it is, sorry. Accounts, uh, yes. Display, touch screen. I feel like this touch screen section is a bit useless should not be before personalization for sure. Then we've got power with all of the relevant options. Is there a graph somewhere? I think there's not. And uh, system information, the dipping logo, okay. It's uh, a cool logo, I like it, using this blue and light blue mix. And general settings, boot menu. How is boot menu a general setting that looks like a, I'll put random stuff in here that I don't know how else to categorize, which is not very nice. Theme, but that's switch theme on to view it in the boot menu yes that's what I was uh, considering before as a very good thing then we have this draw application let's try it a bit more thank you and uh, how do I actually draw with a pen it's not bad but uh, can I use something a bit start and <laughs> it's very nice that I can customize the start and the end of lines it looks very cool but what about the color how do I change the color ah here color sorry and I can select the alpha and I have an additional color wheel pretty good The alpha is not applied until you stop uh, drawing the line. And then we have shapes as well. And all of this is still uh, editable. So it's not like store to PNG. Okay. What else do we have? A text editor. Let's see how touch uh, appropriate is this text editor. Pretty good. You can zoom in, scroll. Is this. I can right click, but I cannot select text. Yes, I can. Okay, like this. Okay. Let me try again and then right click the text. Pretty good. Is this G edit under some heavy, heavy customization? I don't 
understand. I don't think so, but kind of. Um, I cannot replace nor find. Okay, so something is missing here. The top design is okay. I think that the text is not very readable with a strong yellow against it, especially on a hover. It's already better if you don't hover it. Then what else do we have here? Let's go through this quickly. It's very nice that you have all of the important stuff by default, like a screen recorder, especially if you cannot connect to the internet to download more. It's a bit weird that there's this no input window. Please stop. Okay. The design of the system tray, I think that it could be better. It's one of those parts that I think the, they've done in a, a bit of a hurry. Like it could be refined. And I'm not a big fan of not using any shadow for this much transparency because it gets lost on the background too easily. And then there are stuff like, this icon is not aligned to the text, this spacing is inconsistent below and above. Here we have again too little spacing above and these big sliders to turn off and on wireless, they're not very good. Looking at this little pop-up, the notifications are nice, they look good and you have this uh, shadow add close button on hover, which is good for like a mouse, but any component that's only visible on hover is not going to work for touch screen. It's very difficult to know that you need to click that part of the notification to actually close it. And one more thing is that the icon for the calendar is pixeled. I don't know if you can see it through the YouTube quality, but it's not high res. So there's a bit of stuff going wrong there. What else? There's a welcome application, which is very nice. I, I actually like it. I cannot resize it to make it bigger. We have a video I can choose whether I want fashion mode or efficient mode, which actually preserve fit slow as you can see. And then I also have this normal mode, which I don't want to click because maybe it's about compositing as well and it will kill my recording. And then also I can team with the nice cho choice of bloom, 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 unless you learn that there's a scroll, scroll bar, but I don't know how you would know about that scroll bar because it's invisible by default. So, okay. But yeah, let's keep this one. And then there's a lot of stuff to be done with the panel. If I recall correctly, I can move it. They have a nice tra transition to make it slide out and then in. And the icons move place to let uh, to give space to the panel and notice how the background of the system tray disappears when in compact mode it seems like having a background for the system tray is fashion but not a big fan and then status keep hidden like this okay they have a very nice core of animation to slide in and out, I like it. And I can also smart hide, which I guess is when I put an application over it, it will slide out. Of course, with the weird side effect of these icons having too much left padding, but that's not, that's not a dipping fault. The screen recorder is completely broken with a left panel. And I can actually just do like this to change the size of the panel. 
that's a good uh, decision, I like it. And uh, when you have enough space, the system tray goes bad. What else? You have separators between each category of elements. This is nice, this is something that we wanted to do in Plasma as well. Add a um, separator to the left and to the right of the system tray. It would look cool. And then you have plugin plugins. So, onboard. So we've got this onboard keyboard by default. Let's try it out. Can I, I don't know, how do I make a new file? Where's the new file button? Here, okay. They could have chosen a prettier onboard uh, theme because this keyboard, I've used it a lot and I know it's very customizable. Okay, let's close it, thank you. And I think that's pretty much it. There's not much, what about, uh, okay, so there is no calendar applet. You just pop up the calendar right away. The battery also pops up system settings. The audio one, I mean, look at this. We've lost our rounded corners here. So you don't get rounded corners to the left when the panel is also to the left. And I can choose which speaker to use, which is a good thing because again, my microphone identifies himself as a output, which it's not, it's an input, but, and then discs. You don't get much option except to click it and open up. Okay, so my opinion on Deepin as a whole is that everyone considers Deepin to be really pretty, but I do think that they have some design issues that needs to be addressed before working for the more on like pretty stuff like adding more blur or something like that they need to redefine at least all of the system tree applets because they're pretty bad and i think they could use a bit more um, contrast and lightness effect behind these applets this is something that KDE does with the contrast effect which is something that i'm i really love about uh, KDE transparency it really makes KDE Blur and Transparency one of the best on the market if you actually use it. We've got a user feedback, which is just oh, pops up the browser. And yeah, I think everyone considers Deeping to be beautiful, but, and it could be potentially because I can see that there's some very talented designers for the wallpaper, for the general design of blur and stuff, but you cannot just pop up something with a lot of blur and say, wow, look at this. No. Okay, so I did not see that we had a notification center. It has a very cool shadow. It's not all around, but it's actually realistic. I like it. We've got grouped notifications, which is very nice because <laughs> there's lots of them. And uh, this buttons, this button does nothing, nothing, and we can clear them. Okay, but yeah, you cannot just make everything transparent and then expect the user to say, "Wow, this is beautiful," because you also need to have consistent margins, consistent like design with not doing these kind of mistakes and you need to like work seriously on everything for it to be polished as well because it could be nice to have just blur but if it's not polished then the overall impression is not that good now how do i stop this